Today, we're gonna to learn about scams that are going on in the real estate community. It's important that we get this video out there to protect consumers that are thinking of participating in these events. Thankfully, I have found someone willing to help us in the fight. Hey, Scott Yancey here. You may know me from my hit TV show, Flipping Vegas, or maybe you've even seen some of the uh, commercials advertising the free real estate uh, events that I host. Scott Yancey is a house flipper here in Las Vegas, and he released a video titled Scott Yancey Responds to Scams to help future real estate investors stay away from scams. But uh, hey, we must know each other somehow. Maybe it's social media, um, YouTube, uh, maybe like I say, the TV show or my commercials or something. Somehow you follow me and we know each other probably around real estate. Scott has a pretty big following since his TV show called Flipping Vegas became popular. Many people see him as a genuine and nice guy looking to help people learn how to flip real estate. He has some live streams on his YouTube channel and he even has two books, Flipping Your Way to Real Estate Profits and Go Time. As you'll see in just a minute, Scott might not be exactly who you think he is. That being said, even if you hate my TV show and you never have or never will attend one of my real estate events, even though they're free. I can guarantee that there will be tens of thousands of people who will not like Scott's actions following this video. Scott keeps alluding to his free events. I wonder what those free events are. I hope they aren't those scammy constant upsell type events, Scott. I just gotta tell you something. I'm really, really pissed off and disturbed about some things that are going on. There are so many scams around the real estate business. Scott, I've heard you host free events that might use the constant upsell model. Are you sure you're not the one scamming people? There are so many scams around the real estate business. I know, Scott, there really are. We need to make sure to bring awareness to all of the scams. Unfortunately for Scott, I have obtained the lawsuit that includes Scott as a defendant in a case involving some pretty scammy practices. What you'll find later in this video is that Scott actually made his YouTube video to deflect the attention away from the negative reviews he was receiving about his scammy seminars. This, my friends, is a perfect example of the Streisand effect, a social phenomenon that occurs when an attempt to hide, remove, or censor information has the unintended consequence of further publicizing that information often via the internet. Poor Scott, he tried to hide the information about his scammy seminars. His video only has 5,000 views. After my video, many Many more than 5,000 people are going to be aware of what he did. I, I just got to make some things known. So I'm going to crank out a bunch of scams lately that I'm hearing about that uh, really pissed me off and I just want to save you from being a victim to this because I included this video before covering the lawsuit because I wanted you to see how easy it is for scammers to make themselves look innocent. You're going to find out how much money he made doing it and get upset so please brace yourself. Time to check out the lawsuit between the FTC and Nudge LLC and the conglomerate of LLCs that participated. Two of the LLCs are Scott's, Yancey Events and Yancey LLC. Scott was also individually listed as a defendant right below my favorite fake Google Guru Dean Graziosi. I'm going to make a couple videos in the next few weeks regarding this lawsuit as it opens the floodgates on this super scammy events industry that Scott and Dean participated in. To give you an idea of how much money we're talking about here, the Nudge defendants have taken in over $400 million from consumers across the country and overseas through their deceptive scheme. You heard that right, $400 million of revenue generated over a period of about eight years. This is a big business. Deceptive scheme perfectly describes the seminar model. The Nudge defendants use TV personalities, including Dean Graziosi, who has appeared in infomercials promoting real estate investment books, Scott Yancey from A&E's Flipping Vegas. You'll see other well-known celebrities listed. This scammy seminar model uses popular TV personalities to help promote the events. Come out to this free event to learn from this popular house flipper on how you can learn how to flip houses with no money, no common sense, and no ability to spot a scam. Since January 2015, over 750,000 individuals have attended one of the Nudge Defendant's preview events. Here's the confirmation notice for Scott's events. He claims it's a private income property event, which is a couple marketing buzzwords that don't really fit together. He claims we will learn how to buy property for wholesale prices, just like the institutional investors, how to get the best properties before the public has access to them and how to purchase property at all time low prices before they are bid up by hundreds of other investors. There are so many scams around the real estate business. Here's the invitation that Scott's team 
team sent to people. They promise that you'll gain access to properties that no one else has access to. You'll be able to attain up to $750,000 of funding and how you can find properties to flip overnight. Free event and free lunch or dinner. The host is absorbing those costs so you know there's going to be plenty of hard sales involved. There are so many scams around the real estate business. For example, in February 2016, one of the Nudge Defendants infomercials featuring Yancey aired in Denver, Colorado. The Nudge Defendants represented, among other things, that at the preview event, consumers with no previous real estate experience would learn Yancey's proven method of how to profit in real estate. Consumers would be able to do real estate deals with Yancey's money partners putting up 100% of the money, and consumers using the program were exceptionally successful. I just got to tell you something. I'm really, really pissed off and disturbed about some things that are going on. I'm going to make an entire video on what I think is hands down one of the worst business models I've ever come across, the free real estate seminar event model. Robert Kiyosaki is in this business, the flipper flop stars, fortune builders, Scott Yancey and Dean Graziosi, all scammers. This is one of the worst ways to make money, and they all do it knowing how scammy it is. The Nudge defendants hold the preview events in hotel ballrooms across the country. The preview events typically last approximately 90 minutes to two hours and start with motivational videos. I've actually attended a Rich Dad seminar where Robert Kiyosaki promotes how you'll learn all of the secrets by making money in real estate by attending the free event. This was years ago before I knew about fake gurus. I appreciate that experience because I have firsthand knowledge of how this business operates. And of course, Robert Kiyosaki was not there. The speakers typically ask at the beginning of the preview events how many attendees are new or just getting started in real estate investing. The vast majority typically do not have experience in real estate investing. These events target new investors because they rely on the most basic information feeling like a great learning experience. Before the internet became so prevalent, information was, a lot of the time, the gatekeeper for people being able to start a new business or flipping houses. If you don't know someone doing it, then you probably didn't have any access to the information. Events and seminars were actually valuable in some sense because they taught information that you couldn't find elsewhere. Sure, they charged $500 or so, but if they gave you information that you needed to start a house flipping business, for example, then that's a fair exchange. Now that all information is essentially free, these seminars are a complete waste of time and should never be attended by anyone. Please do not go to free seminars where you'll learn the secrets. There are so many scams around the real estate business. I know, Scott, and you're one of the guilty parties. That being said, even if you hate my TV show and you never have or never will attend one of my real estate events, even though they're free. It's free for a reason. The hosts of these events know how much money will be made on the back end by upselling customers until they have no more money. Yes, you heard me right. In just a minute, you'll hear examples of these fake gurus taking people's last dollar to pay for overpriced mentorship. I'm gonna crank out a bunch of scams lately that I'm hearing about that uh, really pissed me off and I just wanna save you from being a victim to this because it's funny that Scott never mentioned his events in this video, even though the amount of money lost by his customers will trump any other scam he could talk about. The speakers do not provide consumers with any substantive training or access to funding or discounted properties at the preview events. This is the reality of these events. I haven't been to Scott's personally, but they all follow the same template. It's a tried and true formula that has worked the past few decades. My guess is that the companies handling the back end are all similar. They all exist in Utah and handle customer support, telemarketing, sales calls, upselling customers, etc. There's nothing of value being provided at these events. Scott tells everyone in his live streams to go to his events to learn real estate. It's the worst way to learn how to invest in real estate. It's an elongated sales pitch that gives you the most basic of information. Being a real estate investor, has been one of the greatest things in mine and Amy's life. It's given us freedom, as well as to thousands and thousands of our real estate students. This is a huge unsubstantiated claim, Scott. We have proof that very few people succeed after attending these seminars. The only thing they walk away with is shame after being duped by your conniving sales pitches. In numerous instances, the nudge defendants encourage consumers to purchase the workshops by representing that consumers are likely to earn substantial income by using the system the nudge defendants would provide during the workshop. Thankfully, the FTC is going to take these fake gurus down. Well, we hope. They do have plenty of proof to back up the 20 charges or so in this lawsuit, but there are thousands of these fake gurus running around making unsubstantiated earnings claims that go unnoticed and unpunished. It's the easiest way to sell. Just lie to people that your clients make hundreds of thousands of dollars after learning your secrets. The nudge defendants typically share examples or testimonials of purportedly successful purchasers of their system who were able to do a number of real estate deals within weeks or months after 
after having attended the Nudge Defendants workshops. In numerous instances, the Nudge Defendants speakers claim that they have a high success rate of their students doing many real estate deals and making thousands or tens of thousands of dollars. One of the speakers at a Redondo Beach, Florida preview event, we have an incredibly high success rate. Well, here we go. 83% of our new students in the last calendar year who had hands-on training done at least one deal. 83%. So we can look at any investor in the eye and say, with this money and our support and help, you will do deals. Yes, I'm sure 83% of your students are successful. It's so easy to throw around fake numbers, which is why these fake gurus do it. It's nearly impossible to validate. And of course, the fake gurus making the claims aren't going to show proof. Contrary to the Nudge Defendants representations, consumers who purchase the Nudge Defendants training are unlikely to make money or do real estate deals within months after attending a workshop. In fact, while the Nudge Defendants offered to reimburse consumers the amount they pay to attend the workshop if they complete a profitable net cash flow transaction within either three or six months of enrolling in the workshop, the Nudge Defendants' own records show that for every year from at least 2013 to 2017, only 1% or fewer of the consumers who had enrolled in a workshop had received the tuition reimbursement. Their own records show that 1% or fewer people have success. I'm pretty confident they don't share that number at the seminars. I think it's left out of the sales pitch. And I just... I just got to warn those of you who may uh, have heard about some of these things and are thinking about getting involved in real estate. As mentioned earlier in the video, over 750,000 people have attended one of these scams. If one half of 1% of people who attended the events were successful, that would mean 3,750 success stories. Yes, Scott, there are probably a handful of people who were successful after attending your training, but that doesn't justify the 99.5% of people who left broke and without any new skill. These events and workshops don't provide provide any secrets or access to private deals either. Being able to show a direct correlation between students attending these workshops and their success would be nearly impossible. This is the section that I really wanted to focus on for this video. Graziosi and Yancey are the primary celebrities that the Nudge defendants use to market and provide credibility to their real estate training programs from 2012 until this lawsuit was filed in November 2019. By the end of 2013, Graziosi temporarily stopped serving as a celebrity draw for the Nudge defendants due in part to concerns he had about the impact of negative customer feedback on his own brand and reputation. However, Graziosi continued to assist the Nudge Defendant's marketing efforts by advising on marketing materials for other celebrity draws, including Yancey, and by 2017, he was again serving as a celebrity draw for the Nudge Defendants. I will definitely be making a video soon on Dean Graziosi because this sums him up perfectly. He cares more about his public image and reputation than solving the actual problem of him promoting us. Scams. Every video of Dean on social media is about how to be successful and how to be an awesome entrepreneur. This is who he really is, everyone as long as the sales funnel is full and he's making money, he could care less about customer satisfaction. That's all I'll say about Dean in this video. I'm teasing you so you'll watch the next one, but it gets worse. And oh yeah, I forgot to mention how much Dean and Scott made for promoting these scammy events. Graziosi and Yancey each received over $10 million from the Nudge Defendants since 2012. Graziosi and Yancey received a percentage of most or all of the Nudge Defendants sales to consumers who attended the preview events they sponsored, including sales of additional training or coaching services that the Nudge Defendants sold to consumers through telemarketing. There you have it, $10 million since 2012. 2012, $10 million. Why do you think Dean spends all of his time selling products and not creating real businesses? Why did Scott promote his free events in every live stream on his YouTube channel? Money. Let me tell you about a scam. This lawsuit is telling me everything I need to know, Scott. During the time period Graziosi and Yancey worked with the Nudge Defendants, they knew about numerous consumer complaints they each received or that were posted online indicating how the Nudge Defendants misled consumers through a series of deceptive sales pitches into purchasing additional training and coaching programs costing tens of thousands of dollars that did not provide anything near the promised results and left consumers heavily in debt. This is important, both Dean and Scott knew about the fraudulent scheme they were promoting. Let's see how these honest salesmen handled their criticism. Despite their knowledge of these complaints, Graziosi and Yancey continued to serve for years as celebrity draws and received millions from the Nudge Defendant's deceptive sales practices. This is what success looks like to these losers. Make money at other people's expense. Turn the other way when complaints about your product or service are being given to you. By 2016, Yancey was personally named as a defendant in two lawsuits brought by consumers claiming they had been defrauded by the Nudge Defendants into purchasing additional trainings and mentorships 
Yancey reviewed the lawsuits before forwarding them to the nudge defendants. What's unfortunate about these scammy events is that most of the customers aren't able to afford legal counsel or they're afraid to admit that they got duped so they stay silent. If more people were able to speak up about these seminars and be heard, then they would no longer exist. In addition, Graziosi and Yancey knew about serious customer complaints about the nudge defendants training that appeared on consumer review websites such as Yelp, Consumer Affairs and Trustpilot and discuss with the nudge defendants efforts to send positive reviews to those sites in order to counteract the negative reviews. Dean Graziosi, the successful entrepreneur always preaching about success, is someone who cares more about gaming the system of positive reviews than focusing on why there were so many negative reviews in the first place. Does this look like success to you? Graziosi and Yancey are both apparently super successful in what they do, yet they spend their time trying to silence criticism. Similarly, by October 2014, Yancey knew about negative of complaints about the Yancey sponsored events that appeared on Yelp's website, which Yancey referred to as the Yancey Slaughter Site. As recently as July and August 2019, Yancey discussed with Lewis and Pullman, among others, efforts to send positive reviews to Yelp to improve Yancey's brand image. Yancey suggested that the nudge defendants direct attendees at the preview events to post reviews while they eat lunch in order to push the consumer complaints appearing on the review platforms down the chain. Again, you have these successful people who are spending their time trying to game the system of making their brand image look good instead of focusing on the actual issue. The money is too good to stop the gravy train, so they did whatever they could to suppress criticism and actual honest reviews. There are so many scams around the real estate business. You're a major player in one of them, Scott. We're going to end this video with the best part. In September 2019, in response to consumer YouTube videos describing the nudge defendant sales practices as a scam, Yancey and Response's chief marketing officer discussed the need to create a video of Yancey talking about common real estate scams based on bullet points prepared by the nudge defendants so that they could counter the videos that consumers had posted warning others about their negative experiences. In October 2019, a video of Yancey talking about various scams was uploaded on YouTube. The six and a half minute video in which Yancey uses a variant of the word scam over 20 times is the top result in YouTube searches for Yancey and scam. Scott made the YouTube video to try and rank number one for Scott, Yancey, and scam to suppress the honest reviews even more. Luckily for us, this video is going to receive way more attention and rank way higher than that video ever will. This lawsuit uncovers a lot of what fake gurus do overhype a product or service, make unsubstantiated income and wealth claims, do whatever it takes to suppress honest criticism, make a video telling people to avoid scams when in fact you are involved in one of the worst scams, and paying for fake reviews. I hope you can see why I hate this fake guru industry now. It's full of losers masquerading around as successful entrepreneurs. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.